You already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Paul Boy Sin, and the Paul don't stand for Paul. Now, by the looks of the title, we about to go over some Magic Johnson users, you feel me? Everybody hate Magic Johnson users, but I'm about to show you the difference between people that just spam Magic Johnson and how I use Magic Johnson. If you ain't know, it's double repping in theater right now, double or nothing, 3v3. We got 2v2 hustle. Lose is out, man. Let me know down in the comment section if you actually like Lose is out. I want to know. This is a poll. This video is a poll. Do you like Lose is out or do you like Make It Take It More? Let me know down in the comments. 2K said that people like Lose is out more than Make It Take It. I want to know if that's facts in the comments. That's all you got to write. Lose is out or win is out. Make It Take It. All right. Um, number three. We number three in the world right now. Number three in the window. Yeah, 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 yeah. Last time I did a video, I was only like 10 or seven, you know? We number three now, you know? Shouts out to everybody supporting the grind. And shouts out to everybody in a major way that has been supporting the Twitch streams. Um, I've been, ever since 2K24 came out, I've been streaming pretty much on average every day, 12. It used to be like 15 hours, but now it's like 12 hours. So, man, I appreciate it in a major way if some of you guys got the time and your day to come from the YouTube channel and come to the Twitch channel. I know some of y'all be on Twitch, man. Come stop doing your boy. You ain't got a vibe out with your boy all day. I know y'all be watching other cats, but, you know, come stop doing your boy, poor boy sin on Twitch. Um, we had 1,974 games played, almost had 2,000. 1867 wins, 107 losses, 95 win percentage. We still ain't playing no program yet because 2K been throwing double rep out there like candy, free candy, you know. So we we still ain't playing no program. Still got the same record from last video. Um, yeah, we're gonna throw the update update in there at the same time. We're gonna talk about this Magic Johnson. So then we still um, 16. We still 16. Damn, I ain't no splash. Uh, I ain't know that was splash team. Um, and we did animations on the last video, but you know, just quick glance at the animations real quick. You know, you might have to pause the video for this. Um, just the jump shot that I'm using. Whoa, 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 what just our godson for people that didn't catch the last video? Just a quick little glance. Um, Malcolm Brogdon, Troy Brown Jr., um, Chris Mullen, uh, 50 50, 3 4 release speed is the jump shot I'm using on this 1v1 build. So um, a lot of people have been making my uh, 1v1 build, my two-way, three-level three. I have two versions of this. Um, this one has a 60 strength. Um, the other one I have has a 74 strength. Um, in my opinion, I have the best 1v1 builds in the game. Um, I love this build a lot. This, Besides my two-way spot-up glass cleaner, this is my favorite build. Um, so. This is the build that I will be playing with in this video to showcase Magic Johnson. Yeah, man. Um, I'm here to show you guys that you guys have been complaining way too much about Magic Johnson instead of learning how to guard it, man. You have to learn how to guard it. If you just use your head and learn how to guard it, you, you would have been amazed on how easy it is to stop it. So um, just some quick defensive tips, defensive tips. Um, if you don't know Magic Johnson, man, all you gotta do is guard the off ball hand. Now I was playing against this kid and I didn't realize he was just spamming Magic Johnson on me until um, after a couple buckets. And then you'll see in the gameplay after a couple buckets, I realized he was just spamming it. So um, I had to get my Magic Johnson defense on. Now, um, that triple threat spin that I just did, everybody keeps asking me how to do it. When the game first came out, everybody was spamming me with the, the triple threat spin. I didn't know how to do it. When I finally knew how to do it, I was like, man, this is smooth. But um, all you do is uh, right stick uh, clockwise, clockwise out of uh, your triple threat to get the spin. I have on Steve Nash spin, so it makes me go to the, I can only do the spin out of the triple threat to the left. If you have on a different spin, you'll be able to do the, the spin out of the triple threat to the right. Now, this is me starting to guard him on Magic Johnson, pretty much guarding his off ball hand. Everybody that uses Magic Johnson, because if you don't know, without doing the Magic Johnson speed boost, you cannot really move like that going um, south, 
to north, north to south, and east to west. Only way you can get speed boost with using Magic Johnson is to do Hezzy boost or, you know what I'm saying, to do the, the, the Magic Johnson boost. There's no way to really just run around like you could with like pro dribble style. If you use pro dribble style and use Magic Johnson dribble style, you'll know that you can't run like you could on pro dribble style. Um, so pretty much it's easy to guard Magic Johnson. You just got to guard the off-ball hand. Now, see, if you pay attention to how I use Magic, I kind of... So it depends on who I'm playing. I tell you guys that all the time. I don't I don't play the same way every game. It, it, it depends on what they're giving me. Um, so that, that move that I just did right there, that's like my go-to to start the game off. Um, do uh, triple threat spin, John Wall crossover, and then, you know, I'm deep enough to get standing dunk. I usually get standing dunk in that situation. But that is my, you know, that's the move I go to first, you know, to start on 1v1. But you see he's on Magic Johnson. So you see he got the ball in his right hand now. You see I'm, on this one I didn't stay left, but because I, I, I have a problem with trying to have my cake and eat the two on defense. Like I, I like guarding the two and the three, you know. I don't like giving up anything on defense but when it comes to losers out you can't play like that because losers out is just about possession lead once you get possession lead you want to hold that even though the score is eight to eight i have possession lead right now so me shooting that shot right there was kind of stupid why because i have possession lead the score is eight to eight all i do is keep going two for two and i win the game but instead you know i shot a shot you know i got a load up i wish 2k would fix the, the load ups and the speed ups but um again here Magic Johnson, he got the ball in his right hand. Uh, look, I'm already ready for it, you know? I'm already ready for it, and at the same time, I know that if you know Magic Johnson, if he keeps running to the right, I'ma still be able to defend that at the same time I could defend his off-ball hand. So, boom, he comes back, I'm guarding that. Look, he's trying to see. You can't, he can't, he can't really move. So look, look at this play right here. When he comes back to the left side with Magic Johnson, he tries to just run with it because he knows I could guard it. But look, it's guardable because he can't, he's not doing that, you know? He can't really move that fast with just trying to run out of it. So you got, y'all got to remember that when guarding Magic Johnson. See how I use Magic Johnson? You see how I, now the, the way y'all complain about people like this that use Magic Johnson, you should be afraid of running into somebody like me that uses Magic Johnson. This is predictable to guard. Anybody should be able to guard people using Magic Johnson like him. But wait until you run into people that use Magic Johnson like me. You feel me? Nah, 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 nah. You feel me? Hit you with a couple moves, then bust out that Magic Johnson. See him? He's just like the typical Magic Johnson user. He's just... Look, I'm guarding that. Look, I'm already ready for him to come back. Guard, and I steal it though. Look, this is how you guard Magic Johnson to perfection. I'm all up in his chest, his grill. The game might as well just make his players stop and just hand me the ball. Boom. And if you guys are still using square, I said it in my last video, if you guys are using square over right stick, stop it. Right, st right stick over square. Square is RNG. But as you can see, I know he's going to come back to his right hand from that left hand. Or he's going to run out of it. Either way, I could guard both. But I'm blitzing that right stick. You see at the top, right stick, glove. Boom. Easy defense, bro. If they got the ball in their left hand, just anticipate them crossing back over to the right. If they're not in position to do that, then you just just guard. You guard both, but you can really just blitz them. You know, I play against people all the time that that, that try and blitz me, but I I you know I work around that. Like I said, I play different. It's based on the defense. See, Magic Johnson, I'm guarding that, and I'm coming back. Look, I'm barely even guarding him at that point. You know, because I'm already knowing he's just gonna spam left, right, left, right until he catches me. So you don't wanna, you know, if you're not good at it, like guarding it close, you wanna keep some distance and just play how I'm playing it right here, you know? And then you gotta remember, see, he got me right there. You gotta remember about possession lead. So I have, but the, the score is eight to 12 right now. I have possession lead. Just don't give up the three. See, when people are guarding Magic Johnson users, they get so frustrated because they doing the Magic Johnson all in one possession. 
and they'll they'll still get a two, but you're so irritated with guarding it, you feel like that two that they're about to get is a three pointer. Let them have that two, man. It's eight. The score is eight to twelve. Let them have that two. If you want to Magic Johnson himself for a two, do just you know work on practice guarding it. Let them have that two. Score score still ten to twelve. I have possession lead still. You know, and then at this point, you know you can just secure the game and shoot a three. You feel me? Tight. Because that's all possession lead is, man, is securing the game. So I really just wanted to do this video just to show you guys, because I haven't played against somebody in a while that just spams Magda Johnson like he was. But you see, I shot a three, scores 10 to 12, 15 to 10, game secured. He can do Magic Johnson for the rest of the game all he want. Hell, I'll let him practice it. As long as I'm not letting him shoot no three, the game is over. But see, he doesn't even want to shoot a three. He just keeps going into trying to use Magic Johnson. And I'm glad I ran into him. I literally just played this kid. And I said, man, I'm stopping the grind to do a video on this because, you know, it's people, the people complaining about Magic Johnson saying the game is bad because of a dribble style. Honestly, honestly. When you complain about Magic Johnson, listen to yourself. You're complaining about a dribble style, not a size up, not a behind the back, not a spin, nothing. You're complaining about a dribble style. Now look, boom, guard up. You feel me? Look, and this is this video is such a good example because he tries to run out of it because he knows I'm going to guard the comeback and he still can't go nowhere. You feel me? That's guardable. Boom, I'm there for it. Guardable. But you see, I played it right here and he got me. You know what I'm saying? But that's the... There's, Magic Johnson is just patience. Let them let them do all that Magic Johnson all they want. But you see, you want to be afraid of running into a Magic Johnson user like me. You feel me? You feel me? And I miss that, though. I miss that. Now... These are the type of Magic Johnson users you don't want to run into that's going to mix it up and throw Magic Johnson in there. You know what I'm saying? So just take this video into note, man. Um, anytime you have a hard time guarding Magic Johnson or get frustrated with watch it, watching people use Magic Johnson, just come to this video and be like, Sin, Sin showed me that it's easy to guard Magic Johnson. I have to just get my stick skill in order and learn how to guard it. Cause once I know how to guard it, then I'm able to stop 90, 75, 50% of the community. And that just increases my win percentage by so much. I don't get why people complain about things instead of trying to figure out how to go through them. You know what I'm saying? Just like when everybody was complaining about shooting, there were certain people that figured the shooting out. You know what I'm saying? And they got some notoriety from it. So, um, Yo, much love and bless to all. Hope everybody had a good Christmas. Um, I got some I got some YouTube series coming soon. I'm just low-key finishing the month off strong, grinding the leaderboard and trying to see how high I could get in the leaderboard by January 1st. Um, Cause y'all know me, I'm, 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 I'm securing top 10 for the rest of the year. I mean, I, I plan on hooping all year anyway. Um, I do want to jump in, into um, other games definitely want to go back and play my Fortnite for a little bit. You feel me on the fun, but I actually enjoy playing 2K right now. You know, um, there's there's little things that I don't like. The biggest thing that I don't like right now is probably load ups and speed ups. Um, there are things that that I did not like when the game came out up until now that they have fixed on, and I have to give them credit for that. There are things in this game that still need to be worked on, as well as, you know, like a, like events and, you know, that 25 days of 2K was was trash, you know. Um, so it's give and take. It's give and take with 2K. But all in all, um, people got to remember, people have to remember that I started as a streamer. I started in the 2K community as a rep grinder. Top rep for old town i was a top 10 i was a top 10 legend you see how they got top 10 now i was a top 10 legend on 17. i was a top 10 legend on 17 when there was no double rep so um i'm not new to this i'm true to this i play 2k for other reasons that other people play 2k um i, I, I love i love being on the leaderboard yo like um, every year that I grinded with 2K not having the leaderboard um, was 
kind of me pushing myself and not forcing myself, but in that field of it, you know, just to keep grinding 2K in hopes of 2K bringing Park Rep back and leaderboards back. You know, a lot of people forget and a lot of people won't admit. And and I did all part to 99 in hopes of 2K bringing Park Rep back. You know, a lot of people thought I did all park to 99 for myself or, you know, I definitely did do it as since for myself and to stand out from others. But I definitely did do it to show 2K that there is still people that do not want to do my career or my points and, and that stuff for, for their park rep. You know, this is the type of stuff that I play 2K for. You know, the other years that we didn't have leaderboard and stuff, I, you know, I sacrificed. You know, in hopes of them bringing this type of stuff back. So, um, I'm, I'm thankful. You know, that's why I played 2K. I played 2K for a long time. They got leaderboards and, you know, accolade rewards and things like that. So, um, much love and blessed to all. I just wanted to give y'all an update on the leaderboard, update on my um, record. Um, I've been showing my animations almost every video. Twitch.tv slash poorboysin. Come check your boy out if you haven't yet. At least, at least hit your boy with a follow and catch me later if you can. You know, at least, at least do that. So uh, y'all be stay blessed, stay safe. I'm gone one.